speaker, you've seen the preview video, you've seen it's a bit hilly, and you've seen Chai cowsing his mouth off about all the watts per kilo he can hold. So here we go, can he actually perform? All right, so we're, we are zooming up here. Uh, speed takes a bit of time to suddenly turn up. So that was the, the start of the race. Uh, we're just going up the little hill here. This is the third kicker, as if you've seen the pre previous video. So there's a bit of a tap. This guy on the right is like, right, I'm gonna go around this corner and sort of launch it. So I'm here around this bit of technical corner. And I'm like, all right, there's a gap closed. I'll close that uh, pretty fast. Then I see this guy go, I'm like, oh, no, I'll keep going. So I just kept going around these guys. Bit of an effort, to be honest. Um, was it, it was, this was a bit dumb in retrospect because going with the first move is always a bit stupid because no one actually never ends up going anywhere. But this car was pretty strong. We were talking before the race. I think he knew me, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, we, we were talking before. Um, and so he was a good bloke. It was a bit of an effort to bridge about 450, 460 for the bridge. Um, for, so for the whole race, it was enormous power. It was like 290 or something. And I'm 60 kilos, so it's decent effort. Uh, I could have been way, way less if I just sat in, but I'm, I couldn't really bother to sit in and sprint. But in retrospect, maybe I should have done that because the hills, the course had a slight uphill finish, but it's always risky. Anyway, you guys last time told me that I don't attack enough, so I was like, fuck this, lads, I'm going to attack. Um, so anyway, we're now bridging across, still doing some decent power. When I got to here, I sort of like in the draft, so just wait behind him a little bit, just so that I could rest up a little bit, so as soon as I got there, I could pull some turns. Um, he was pretty strong, a lot stronger than me, to be honest, and I didn't really want to pull that strong terms. He kept flecking his elbows on hands and not really, like, moving our way or whatever, but anyway, he was pretty strong, like, let's be honest. So I was doing some alright turns, but pretty shit. I think we held for the first, like, 8 or 10 minutes, like, 340 watts, which is 330, 340 watts, something like that. It was pretty tough, uh, like, start to the race. Um, and that was, I think, probably spiked my normal power quite a lot. Like, if I had just sat in the power time, it would have been way less, like, 240, 230, maybe. Uh, so you can hear, we're doing turn here, but like pretty shit turn, like sort of less than threshold, and then up this bit, we were going hard, and now we flick to when we get caught. I thought with this, we were just getting caught by everyone, but we weren't, we were just getting caught by one person, and then I think he attacked, and then I went round him. This was quite hard, actually, because my heart rate's decently high, and it was uh, quite quite tiring, to be honest, to um, respond to this guy. But on the downhills, people pedaled really weird, like they'd smash it on the uphills and then just not even pedal on the downhills, I just literally didn't understand people. Um, for the race, like... You'll see in a bit, like, this guy comes past and whatever, but it was really chill. Like, on the uphill, when I wasn't in the break, like, it just wasn't really that hard. Like, I was pretty comfortable, um, but I just couldn't really, like... It's one of those races, and I find this often happens in C-grade, like, you're quite comfortable. But if you attack, people just chase you, and I'm not strong enough to stay away. But if it comes down to the bunch sprint, I can't really do anything. So it's sort of one of those races where, like, sometimes it's just not that hard. But anyway, this time I was like, right, I'm not going to fuck around. So here a bit of a split happened, some guys were up the road, it was all a bit confusing, I didn't really understand what happened. Like just three or four guys had rolled off the front, everyone else was sort of looking around like, well, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. I was like, oh, I'll probably get caught, brought back together, so I didn't really panic. We were coming towards the end of the race, I was like, oh, then that guy goes, then Austin, my mate, um, he also goes, he was racing this race. I think he goes in a bit to bridge, and I was still like, oh, people will bring it back, like... There's too many of us here, and also I knew I could bridge that, not like not too hard. I wanted to save matches because I'd sort of like basically been after that first attack. I'd basically just been resting in the peloton from then on, just being like, I'll just buy my time and just go. So there's Austin who bridges across. Um, probably had to burn a bit of a match there, and I'm just here watching. I'm like, well, these guys aren't just gonna like let them go, are they? Because yeah, they're still pedaling decently hard, and then basically we we're here. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll finally bridge. But when I bridged, I didn't try and like bridge steadily. So people just go on my wheels. I already spiked up a bit, trying to get up to 600 watts and just close it pretty quickly. I'm not sure if people follow my wheel, but if they did, they would have to like surge. And then around this corner, I knew I could take the corner faster than these guys ahead because they all seemed a bit like worried about this corner. But I know I could, you can pedal through and rail it pretty much. So around this corner, you can see I, I gained quite a lot of speed. I'm onto the back of a group. And I thought now was a good time to attack because literally everyone had just been like strung out or whatever. And I was like, all right, here we go. Hit like 8.50, 8.60 for a bit of time on the other side of the road. Always remember to try and attack when it's like hardest to, when you're finding it really hard, that's the best time to attack because everyone else will be. And this was a slight downhill, so I was like, I can sort of recover down here. Still pedaling. Should I have been on the aero top tube? Maybe, but I, I wasn't sure because in the UK, I know if you get on the top tube, they can get really funny. But here, some guy like was in the aero pedaling Chris Froome thing and they didn't seem to bother. So I was like, oh, okay. Maybe they're a bit more chilled out here than the UK. But anyway, you can see we're going up this rise. I can sort of hear from now, like you can sort of hear people behind you. I was like, all right, I won't kill myself up this bit and we'll just wait. Uh, I thought like the thing is, the problem with the C grades on this is like now someone should then be attacking straight away, but no one does. And that means that often, I guess people don't have the fitness to do that, but it just means the race then ends up being not that bad. But if like Austin had now just gone, that would have made it super hard and probably dropped some people. But eventually this race basically 
turned into a race of attrition where people were just getting spat the whole time. Uh, and it wasn't really super hard. And anyway, we're now we're coming towards the end of the lap, last lap. So this is the second last lap. And the, you can see on the left-hand side, the bell is ringing. And we're going up the first of these three kickers. And um, this is my original plan. Just save everything for the last one, lap and just solo at home. Um, so you can see here the bell is going on the left-hand side of the thing in the guy in orange. And up here, you can see we're doing like 300, 330. Like, it's not really very hard. Like, let's be honest. We sort of get up to 400 watts here. But... Again, it's not super difficult, um, so I was pretty confident if I attack, not many people would be able to respond. See that this guy ahead of me is sort of struggling a little bit. Um, he's out of the saddle. He was pretty strong rider, to be honest. We were swapping solid turns off before, so I thought if I attack, he might come with me. That would be quite good to have two people. This woman, she was pretty strong as well. She was doing a turn. I'm not really sure what she's doing because she's, she's just doing it basically trying to lead it out like I don't really know what the tactic is but I guess some people just like me on the front but she sort of was like what do you do when I attacked I was like well I'm trying to win the race instead of just dragging the whole palace up around and we're over this top you can see like look no one even pedals like look at the guy ahead he's like not even pedaling looking around because I'm pretty sure he knows I'm going to attack or someone's going to attack like this and anyway here we go we, I just try and carry a bit of momentum in just absolutely launch it up to we get to up to 950 here and I'm just flying at like 30 k's an hour up this 8% gradient at one point um so you can see I'm just absolutely going it this is everything i was like i've just got to get as much gap as i can on this climb and then try and hold it because i knew that i can climb pretty much better than almost anyone in this race um and if they're chasing they'll have to go literally full gas to try and hold my wheel so i knew here i was like right just going to hold it as much as possible until we get around the corner and hopefully i might be out of sight and they might sort of forget me austin was saying that a couple guys i think tried to bridge here i could sort of hear them but i don't think anyone actually managed to do it so you can see here i'm still absolutely launching at like 600 watts 560 um, and just really going for it and this was really hurting you can see Anna's on the right hand side shouting at me which is pretty beautiful love a bit of support but we are absolutely just like dying up this climb I remember just sort of slightly lower cadence just like 400 just trying to hold it as much as high water as I could I knew this corner look how fast I can take this corner we were going like 25 24 on this I was just really trying to rail this corner as much as possible then straight out of the saddle get it back up to speed because I knew if I got over this thing first and then could get down because there's a little dip here they wouldn't be able to see me and i might be able to get away so i was like super excited I was like here we go here we go here we go and now i i think about now i click lap on my garmin change pages on my wahoo sorry change pages onto lap power so then i could see my lap power see what power i'm doing and that really gives me motivation because i know what i can hold so if i'm messing around then i'm really doing it so my tactical for this was trying to just hold more power on the uphill because i thought that's when i'm really going to gain time because i'm even if i'm on my own if I'm holding 400 watts on the up, uphill, they're going to have to be holding five to 600 watts, which I know they're not really going to do. They'll probably just hold 350 set steady the whole time. So my goal was trying to hold 330 to 350 watts on this part and really just TT. And I was like, I don't care. I wasn't looking back. I was like, the finish line is where the end of my time trial is. Right, let's just absolutely launch it. So I was just trying to get absolutely everything I could. I was really concentrating on trying to keep power on the downhill um, and just like get as aero as possible really concentrate on like the corners make sure i take them as much as possible don't lose any speed really and just absolutely go as hard as i can and up, you'll see up these little uphills drags this is when you just sort of spike the power a bit just to keep the momentum going and this is where it really starts hurting like it's the end of the race your legs are pretty tired but you've just got to give it absolutely everything and i think some people were chasing but eventually they sort of gave up and they're like now nah, it'll be fine he won't do it and I was really buoyed. I was like, come on, come on, come on. And I didn't look back really at all because I was just like, if I look back and I see them, I will immediately give up. So I think I had a couple checks and I couldn't see anyone like immediately behind me. But the thing with it is like five seconds on this course and you're out of sight. So you might be like, oh, I'm out of sight, but they could still be five seconds behind. So that was sort of gave me a bit of false confidence. But you can see on the downhill, my power's out. I'm now starting to slack a little bit. I think because I was saving myself for this little drag to really try and because I was like I can probably gain like three seconds here if I absolutely launch as hard as possible and hold 400 watts for this whole thing because I knew in the pack I wasn't really holding over 400 watts on these climbs so if I can do that on the front then I'm definitely going to be um, gaining some time so it gets up to 8% it's like it was a decently hilly course like there wasn't all right hills it's just a shame they didn't finish at the top like imagine if they finished at the top on those kickers it would have been beautiful I would have just sat in and just absolutely launched it on the last one but anyway we have to race of what we're given, and I'm pretty happy that they did have a hilly course because it, it made some exciting racing, at least at the end. I, maybe I should have sat in. I'm always tempted because I know I, like, I can always get like a decent result by just sitting in and sprinting, but I don't think I'll, I'll never really win a sprint. Um, so I think it's better for me just to try and do these solo things because like the points don't matter here. Like No one really cares. Like If I was back home, I'd actually want points to move up grades and stuff, but here it's like you can just pick the grades. It doesn't matter. And we got up to 10%, take that corner as fast as possible, click up into click up some gears, make sure we're still in the big ring and just really try and 
um, keep power down, because I know often they did freewheel down this part, so I was like, here we go, here we go. And this is when I really started to blow, I was like, yeah, well, still haven't caught me, they still haven't caught me right, let's just keep going, keep going. And I knew if I got to the descent with a decent gap, I'd probably be able to hold it. So I was really, really hoping, I was like, here we go. And I sort of like had a slight, slight breather on that descent and was like back into it. And you can see the watts are going up, back up to near 400 watts, which is really solid. I think for this effort, I held about 335 for eight minutes at the end of the effort, which, okay, maybe it's not crazy, but for me, that's, like, that's over 5.6 watts per kilo almost at the end of a race. So it was really, really hard. Um, and it really did take it out of me. But I was still like not completely in the hurt house now. I was still like feeling confident. Um, that I might be able to do it maybe. But the thing I didn't want to do is like, sometimes when you do these breakaways that you do them and then like, you're sort of like, if, when you get caught, you're not completely dead and then you can still sprint. On this one, I was like, I'm just gonna absolutely empty everything so that I'm like, when I get caught, if I get caught, hopefully I won't get caught, that um, I just, I won't have anything left at all. So you can see again, up these little rises, we're doing 400 watts for a little bit, trying to really keep it up, as, the power up as much as possible. It's quite hard in this course because it is rolling and that's definitely like an advantage for me because obviously I'm quite light, but also a disadvantage when it comes to the like time trialing on the own because you carry just so much momentum when you're in a group to just to roll up those things. Around this corner, I was really trying to rail as much as possible. It was pretty dry actually, so you could really could. And we kept just going, just sprint up this little drag and I was like, right, here comes the downhill. And I, th I was always in two minds because I'm not really like, I, I don't know, I never seem to like have enough speed or like uh, like to really get any aero tuck. So often I end up pedaling and I'm, not, I'm like, I feel like if I got any aero tuck, I might be the same speed, but I'd save my legs. But it's all maybe 1k an hour later, but slower, but I'll save my legs. So here I sort of then I think decide, oh, I'm just going to get any aero tuck and see how much speed I can gain. Um, we're going up to like 60k's an hour. So that's normally when people say you get into the aero tuck. Um, but we're now pedaling. And I was like, right, here we go, here we go. We're really close now, really close. But the thing is I keep forgetting is the finish line is actually a really long way away. So I'm still solo. I was like, look, I got around this corner, really sprinted up, just try to keep it as much as possible. Just keep the speed going. And I was like, you know, when you sit down, just keep that gear, maybe slightly lower cadence, you'll see maybe now in a bit. I was still sprinting, just trying to give absolutely everything to our line. I was like, come on, mate, come on. You're going to get the solo win. Come on, come on, come on. You just have to believe you can't like, can't mess around and be like, oh, maybe I'll get caught. Maybe I could still sprint for the win. It's like, nah, everything, everything to this. You've gone, you've put in a huge effort so far. You just got to keep it. And this drag killed me, like 4%, still going like 28 Ks an hour. And it was just absolutely horrible, 5% still. Around this corner, really just tried to rail it, kept pedaling as much as possible. Marshalls did a good job. There was no real traffic, actually. I don't think any actual car overtook us apart from, which is pretty good. And anyway, on this descent, I was like, all right, here we go. Just get up to speed quickly which here I didn't, I just didn't really pedal hard enough. Here I really should have got into like three, 400 watts, or like a 500 watt sprint to get up to like 60 Ks an hour and just hold. And here I'm just in the aero tuck. No, he didn't go too fast. We only hit like 63 Ks an hour. The guys behind absolutely railed it. And I, here I was, I was like, right, I've probably done it. I, I looked around that corner when I turned left and I just couldn't see them. And I was like, well, that's probably five, five seconds, but I think they were literally just there. And we're going 68 Ks now here. I'm doing 500 watts, just trying to hold it as much as possible on this thing. And I'm like, come on, mate, come on, here we go. And that guy came past, I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna get caught. I was like, oh, that's A grade, that's fine, that's fine, that's A grade, don't worry, mate, you've still got it, you've still got it, come on, come on, come on. And all the way, I was like, right, we're almost there, we're so close now, just keep going. And I remember seeing, seeing some fans on the left hand side of the road, I was like, shit, here we go, 58 Ks now, come on. And that was the, the C grade man came past. And then the A grade, I didn't understand what I was going on. This is like people who got dropped from A grade, they were like getting involved, I was not gonna hold their wheel, and I was like, all right, I've gotta hold their wheel. And I got caught, and I literally was just so angry, because I was like, like, what the hell is going on? Why the fuck the A grade in here? And then it's like the C grade guys. I was like, I can still maybe win because I didn't know where the rest of the C grade was. And these A grade guys just, just seem to like get in the way and not really do anything. Um, and then like there's actual A grade who the people who actually won the race. And then this is like the C grade people who are all like, what the hell is going on? Like I don't understand. It's like leaning out. And then this guy comes around. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And now it's the sprint. And this guy who actually ended up winning on the right hand side comes along. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm doing 600 watt sprint. And I was like, well, I'm not going to get top three. So I don't really care that much. That guy goes around. I go, go past him. Then he comes around. Then Austin comes around. It was like, what the hell were all the A grade people doing? I don't understand. Like they were just got in the way. It was so confusing. Did they help in the chase? I don't even know. Was it a scandal? I just don't know anymore, but it was really annoying. I like gave it my all. I thought I was gonna get it. Like I really did. I was like, here we go. And I just got caught with probably what, like four or 500 meters ago. And then that was it. It was just like crying. Um, but anyway, 
there we go. I was absolutely gassed at the end. I got sick, so it's not a bad result, but it's, it wasn't, wasn't great. I really wanted to win. I didn't really care about getting top. I would like top three would have been nice, but I really just wanted to win, and I thought that was my best chance. Maybe I should have attacked later. I don't know. It was a good fun. Always enjoy racing. Always have like enjoy attacking and just absolutely launching as much as possible. So anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.